Check this out. I'm wearing new glasses and they have an updated prescription that I was able to create without leaving the comfort of my home. This was made possible with this device right here. This is IQ's vision check system. It uses Bluetooth to pair the device to your smartphone and through a series of exercises, its companion app generates the numbers needed to purchase glasses online. Now, based on my experience with this product and purchasing these frames and lenses from online retailer I buy direct, I was able to save more than 75% and receive the new glasses in a week. Now, best of all, the Vision Check sells for $69. And while it does not replace the need for a periodic medical exam, it is an effective tool that resulted in a notable cost savings, at least for me, in buying my glasses online. Now, if this sounds too good to be true, stay tuned and I'll fill you in on all the details. And that starts right now on The Gadget Guru. Allow me to say up front, this is not a commercial and I purchased this product through normal channels. No consideration whatsoever is being provided to me for the production of this video. Now, a true story. As COVID-19 was changing our lifestyle patterns, I had appointments on my calendar with various medical offices for routine checkups, one of which was an appointment with my ophthalmologist for an eye exam. Now, since I'm taking social distancing seriously, I opted to postpone this appointment. However, there was a problem. I needed new glasses as my old ones just didn't seem to work as well as they did only a year ago. By pure coincidence, just a few months prior to knowing that the COVID-19 pandemic was on the horizon, I purchased IQ's Vision Check online at Kickstarter, but I didn't open the box until just a few weeks ago. Now, joining me to tell us more about the Vision Check is Phoebe Yu, the Director of Marketing of IQ. Phoebe, thanks for joining me today. Let's start with an overview. What is the Vision Check and how does it work? Uh, it's a pleasure to be here, Andy. Thanks for having me. Um, so first of all, I'm going to jump in and make a correction. So the vision check uh, does not issue a prescription. So a prescription by definition is issued by a doctor that includes an eye health exam. So as you can see, our product works on the smartphone and is self-administered. So it does not give a prescription. However, um, it does generate numbers that you can use to then order glasses online. So if you're interested in getting in real time uh, readings and corrections for your vision and water glasses and just to track vision over time, our product will be perfect for you. And listen, I appreciate the correction. Accuracy is good. Okay, here we have in this box, here's what I have. This is the, fish, the, the IQ Vision Check. IQ is the name of the company. Vision Check is the name of the device. I have a phone right here. You have an app that once you get this, you pair it with your phone via Bluetooth. Walk through of what the steps are, of what this does to determine the numbers. Absolutely. Um, there's actually very complex technology behind how this all works, but in a nutshell, uh, basically it bends light. So using your smartphone as the light source, when you look through the device, uh, based on your vision correction, you'll see two lines, red and green. Everyone sees the lines a little bit differently. So at different angles, you will overlap the line into one solid yellow line. So a lot of, of our users describe it as playing a game or a series of exercises. Um, so based on how many uh, pixels or how much movement there is uh, for you to overlap the lines into a solid yellow line, we then backwards calculate and determine uh, your vision correction. That's, that's all there is. Now, one thing that I noticed that when you first set it up, you do have a practice mode. And let me point out that if you do end up getting this product and, and you go through the tutorials and the setup and, and the usage, you're gonna see Phoebe on your phone. She's the one who does this, so she knows what she's talking about here. But I know she did have a practice mode that was a great way to get accustomed to merging the two lines to try to make one into yellow. So we have that. And when, I noticed when I first got it, I had to do three different tests. Now, each test consists of nine different bar tests in each eye. You start with your right, then your left. You have to do that three different sessions for 27 separate tests. What happens at that point? 
Right, so um, we have to ask the users to administer a series of tests because we don't really have any of your vision history. We don't see who you are. We have no image of your eye. So all of the calculation and all of the information we have is based on your test results. So the more data, the more accurate the results will be. And that's why the more tests you take, um, your eyeglass numbers will become more refined. So the, the process to how your eyeglass numbers, which is um, the numbers you can use to order glasses, um, based on your test results, are determined is actually, um, we have a very, very sophisticated and robust algorithm on the back end. So all of your data is processed through that. So the algorithm, it uh, determines any kind of um, outliers and uh, any kind of inconsistencies or consistency in the test, quality of the test itself. Uh, we also take into consideration very personalized um, information such as your age, whether or not you wear reading glasses, glasses and etc. And then we calculate and, and recommend a set of numbers that we think will work really well for you. And from what we know, that number works really well for most people. You know, in preparation for my test, you know, I went through the standard procedure. I did the three tests. I probably even did a fourth on top of that. Then I ordered my first pair of glasses. They weren't these. They came in. I bought them from iBuyDirect. There's no sponsorship on this video. That's just where I bought them. It was a great price. Uh, they arrived in about a week, and they were fine. So I decided, you know, I'm going to order another backup pair of glasses because my prescription had changed, and I was seeing much better. And I went through and I did a couple more tests on this. I noticed my numbers had slightly changed. So what I did, I ordered with the new numbers and the glasses were a little bit better. Is there a magic formula of how many times you do the test to be able to get results that are as close to going to the doctor as possible? That's a great question, and you are definitely going to see some level of fluctuation based on even the different times of day that you take the test, right? So your eyes are living organs, and they change and they fluctuate. Um, in terms of how many, is there a magic number to the test that we can, you know, you can take to get really accurate numbers? The minimum is definitely three. For some people, the minimum is four. Uh, we recommend anywhere from five to six, as many as you really like to take. You have the, you know, patience or or um, if you just want to test it out, the more the merrier, the more tests you take, the more consistent your results become, the better the numbers will work for you. That's, that's I guess that's the, the secret. On the most recent test that I did, I did opt you have for $19. You can order a, a set of test glasses. I did order a pair. I don't think you've seen me wear these. They kind of give that kind of Harry Potter feel to it. But, you know, they, these don't have the bifocals or the other word that I didn't know how to say. Uh, but this allows you to see is the prescription you're about to order, how does it work? And, and they work really well. Is that a new service that you're offering? Absolutely. So what you ordered are called try-on glasses. They're, they're trial glasses. In, in our opinion, those are not uh, glasses we recommend that you wear on a daily basis. They're, they should be seen as trial glasses. They're super affordable. We actually uh, rolled the service out um, early in June. Um, all of the glasses and frames and lenses are stocked in our California office and they're made, assembled in the US and shipped to you. So most of our users receive them in five to seven days, no more than 10 days. And they're able to just experience their eyeglass numbers because we understand um, it's really hard to believe that you know a series of self-administered tests on your phone can tell you what your vision correction is. So to minimize the risk of you know um, our customers who then have to spend, you know, 40, 50, $100 to water glasses online, we offer these super affordable try-on glasses for them to just experience it. Tell me who should or should not use this, adults, children, whoever. Yes, we recommend the refraction product for people over 18 years of age. And we see absolutely exceptional results for people over 45 years of age. I'm not sure if that's because people are just more patient or have a, more of a need to um, test their vision more frequently. Uh, but we do see really great results for people that tend to be a little older. I realize that this basically does your dis your excuse me your distance test. But for people like me who have the little readers on the bottom so I can see my watch or when I'm reading, how does it determine those numbers? Yes, so our product, the refraction product, actually tests only for distance vision. It does not test for reading. So distance vision uh, conditions are nearsightedness, farsightedness, and astigmatism. Reading vision actually happens with age. It's called presbyopia. Um, presbyopia is something that's relatively difficult to test, and we offer the um, reading numbers based on your age. It is considered to be pretty accurate in terms of um, uh, even within the eye doctor community because that's usually 
really a starting point to where doctors kind of test you on, you know, a plus uh, 1.25 if you are, uh, you know, 45 plus or so. Now, the only part of the test that was a bit awkward to me, and you have it in your instructions, that when you start, and I'll try to get like this, you say, to, you know, take your glasses off, you hold it like a book, and I'll do this on my right eye, to bring it in, but you want to keep one eye open and look in the distance. Now, sometimes that kind of makes the bars kind of hard to find. I found myself kind of moving this around like that. Um, any suggestions on usage or yeah, I noticed if I would keep one eye closed and looking through here, it was much easier to do. Is there a problem with doing it that way? Uh, so it will be problematic for certain demographics, people that are slightly younger, to close the other eye as they are testing. So we call the the, the non-testing eye the resting eye, right? You're just trying to look into a distance. The reason why we ask you to look into a distance is, as mentioned earlier, we test distance vision. So if you are... Um, looking into a distance while you're taking the test, you're basically tricking your brain into uh, testing distance vision because because we have distance perception um, just built in. If you look too close, uh, you you know uh, your eyes can analyze that your phone and the, and the device is only inches away from your face. So you're trying to get that distance measurement by looking far away. The, uh, the trick that I have to, um, you know, taking a better set of tests is to think of it as a uh, stereograph. You remember those images with hidden, those geometric graphs with hidden images, right? So think of it as trying to look at two different images and trying to merge that into one. So um, yeah, so that being said, it does take a little bit of practice because for, um, you know, people like you and I, we are not used to looking at something one eye at a time. So it does take a little bit of practice. A lot of our users report a learning curve, but after a few rounds of tests, it becomes a lot easier, especially when you know what you're looking for. I tell you, one of the easiest use, use features in here are these right here. This is included in the kit. Let me put the, I'll put these on and I'll let you tell us about these. Sure, well, you look fabulous in those I'm just planes. trendy. <laughs> yeah, so these are actually called the IQ PD check. These are uh, a set of frames that you can use to uh, to calculate and measure pupillary distance. So pupillary distance is the uh, distance between your pupils, so pupillary distance. And they're really important to uh, order glasses online because if, you know, if somebody who's making the glasses doesn't really know where your pupils are uh, aligned in the frames, then you know, the, they're off center and you'll have a really hard time kind of wearing them. So our frames are able to generate very, very accurate measurements uh, within seconds by you taking a selfie and overlapping some markers. Um, and it's probably the most accurate product uh, on the market because it has a hardware component as a uh, marker. You know, and if people are confused what we're talking about, the pupillary distance is basically the distance between the center of your pupils. How this works is pretty simple. As you said, you put them on, you take a selfie. The, your program, and you use your program to take the selfie, it looks for these three markers. You just make sure they're lined up, and then you just tap on each one of your eyes in the photo, and then you just make sure the crosshairs are at the center, and boom, you have your pupillary distance. That was very cool. Now, a separate product you offer is this right here, the Insight. Can you just take a minute and tell us what this is? Absolutely. So they look like VR goggles and they're very futuristic looking. Um, they're actually uh, some of the easiest products we, we offer. Um, it's a one minute 2020 vision test. So when you go to your eye doctor's office, the first thing you do is look at that eye chart with the letter E and different, you know, um, letters that you have to identify from, you know, one eye, the other eye from 10, 20 feet away. So visual acuity uh, using the IQ inside takes only about a minute and anyone can do it who's over the age of six. So it's really great for uh, younger kids to uh, stay kind of up to date for parents to stay up to date with their vision changes because children's vision can change very rapidly. Um, on a side note, this device also offers two additional tests. One is contrast sensitivity, um, really great for people who are um, slightly older who 
have trouble defining and identifying shades of gray. So contrast sensitivity is pretty important because uh, the loss of contrast sensitivity is usually a, a sign of uh, cataract development. So another test that the insight includes is color uh, perception. So color deficiency, we test for all three types of color deficiency. So especially men, most the color um, deficiency occurs in men. So it's a, it's a quick one minute test and anybody can just do it quickly. Yeah, I noticed it was very quick to do. Now you can use this with and without glasses. And, and here's why I'm asking this. If, if you go in and use the vision check and you generate your numbers to be able to order glasses online, you can actually, take a test with this you set your pupillary distance on here so it it knows what it's looking at and you can take before and after you get the glasses so you can see what your vision is like you can put on your old glasses see how that is then put on your new ones is this a good way to verify that that whoever you purchased your glasses from filled your prescription correctly uh, absolutely, that is a really great way. And for for most people, um, actually, I know about fifty percent of all eyeglass wearers also wear contacts. So that's also a good thing to do if you have contacts. You can test your vision to see if your contacts are helping you correct your vision. Okay, I mean it really is an interesting device. Okay, let's go through some prices here. I know you have kits. You sold separately. Go on and tell me how this works. Absolutely, we've de we've designed our products to be as affordable as you know, possible. So the Insight Vision Screener individually retails for $89. Um, that's the binocular device. It also works with a smartphone. You attach it and there's a um, elastic band that attaches to it. The app is free. Um, you access it by entering your serial number. Um, quick and easy test, great for the entire family. The uh, vision check that gives you the numbers you need to order glasses is uh, retails for $69. So again, very affordable. Um, can be used over and over. We do have, um, we do require each uh, member. So if you were to share this with somebody else in your household, we do ask that you start uh, a new account for this uh, other person because um, when you are storing vision data, we don't want data to be mixed. So your eyeglass numbers that results from uh, all of the tests should all be yours. So uh, right now we are offering free uh, memberships for anyone who's starting um, an account with IQ uh, for the first year. And after the first year is a mere $4.99 per year to maintain your account. Okay, if somebody wants more information or they want to purchase these, or if they just want to go online and watch your tutorials to see, where do they go? They go to IQ.com, so E-Y-E-Q-U-E.com. Phoebe, thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule to speak with us today. Now, remember, the easiest way to keep posted of my news stories and videos is to simply follow us on Facebook at facebook.com slash the Gadget Guru. If you enjoyed this video, please take a moment and give us a thumbs up, and I hope you'll subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the bell. One more thing, if you like this video, you're going to like this one. And if you like that one, you're going to like one of these. That's it for now. I'm the Gadget Guru, Andy Parr.